a lot of times when I photograph lightning, it's a really chaotic experience. Usually the there's a lot of wind, there's a lot of rain. Tonight is eerie because the storm's actually far enough away, it's very calm where I am. It's very calm, very quiet. I'm out in the middle of nowhere by this abandoned building and it gives it this very eerie, eerie feeling. I have goosebumps as I talk about it. Really beautiful to have just that little bit of afterglow from the sunset and then the lightning happening in the distance back behind this building. I've just got my camera set up in a time lapse and I'm gonna just kind of pick the my favorite strikes from this particular composition. After a while, once the storm moves a little bit, I'm gonna try shooting slightly longer focal length, I think, and try to get those bolts a little larger in the frame. Really, really eerie evening, but I love it. A lot of times when you're doing lightning photography, getting focus can be a really big challenge because there's nothing illuminated in the scene to focus on. It's not like you have stars or anything like that to focus on. So one of the things that I look for is something that is kind of in the distance on the horizon, either like a, you know, some kind of light, or in this case, I have a couple of grain elevators that I'm able to focus on. Those are gonna be out at infinity, so I know that my lightning is going to be nice and sharp. So I'm focusing on the grain elevators to make sure that I'm focused to infinity.